Hey guys, so I want to talk about a project I've been working on. It's using Python and Word. The idea behind this is to populate a Word document with the, all the information that I'm going to be pulling from a SQL server so that I don't have to fill it out more than once. Um, so you could use this for a whole bunch of different things. And what I'm doing here is this is a BIM execution plan. I'm starting from scratch by creating all the information and then pushing in info that from the SQL server into these tables. So over here to the right, you can see I've got Python and a Jupyter notebook. I'll go over th this stuff in depth in a later video, but for now I just want to explain kind of the premise of this project and then kind of talk about the more nitty gritty uh, later on. So, um, right here is the actual Word document information. So we're just uh, creating some tables here. And then down here at the bottom, we have the Revit help. So right um, here is the actual cell that we're pushing this information in. So this right here is data frame project information. That's what DFPI means, dot IAT. And then this is the specific cell that is being pulled from the data frame that I've created. Um, and then I'm pushing it into the table within Word. Uh, and I'll go over this in a later video as well. So um, again, the idea is to pull information that's already been populated and push it into documents that kind of want to show that same information. And it's just to reduce redundancy because I feel like when we have to do um, the same thing over and over again, it just increases the potential um, for errors pretty much. So um, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys um, see this as useful. If you want to uh, see more of this, just let me know. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to get this or get Jupyter Notebook, uh, what I've used is the Anaconda distribution and you can just come out, out here and then pick out the uh, system that you're on. So Windows for me and then download it and then you just run the EXE. And just to show you guys this, you would just um, Anaconda prompt and then type in Jupyter Notebook. That's it. Press enter. Wait a bit. It runs. Opens. Here's your um, default location to browse out to a notebook, or you just do a new one, and you're good to go. It to me it looks, you know, I know from I don't have a programming background. It looks like there's a lot here, but um, really there's not. It's just a lot of copy paste. I mean, when you create these, you can just copy paste them um, to the next uh, cell or the next table, and um, it's it's really it's it's not too bad so let me know if you guys like this stuff um, and I'll share all these um, links below um, I've got a number of them up here as well I'll share these this is about Python Docs which is the package that I'm actually using uh, for this notebook so I'll share that information with you guys um, so yeah I appreciate you watching thanks a lot